Yeah, guess what? We're at a racetrack. It's at Newcastle. This is where you ought to be. So, we're here. We made it. Uh, about eight hours and 45 minutes to get here. Extra hour and 45 minutes for me because I'm even further away. But we got here in one piece. Not running anything real fancy. Sportsman rear setups. Brought the uh, historic alley cap. Orange alley cap, the orange crush is going to be like uh, backup to everything here today and tomorrow. So the historic is here. Twin carbs on it. That uh, it probably it'll probably be faster than their uh, their sportsman rear setups with it, this setup. Even even with the uh, the heavy wheels and tires and. I mean, it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty much a hoot to drive hard tires. So we made it, and uh, it's windy, it's hot. Uh, we knew it was gonna be hot. Got the Rodrigo pit next to us. We got Dan over there next to us. Uh, if you remember, Broadhead. Um, saw the back end of that stinger a lot, even though he was in a different class. A lot of times these events we run multiple classes and that always kind of makes it entertaining. So I had a lot of good footage of the back end of that car, even though I was in a different class. So. Got the infamous Romero down there. <laughs> we'll maybe say hi to him at some point. A lot of people here. Looks like a good turnout. Fuel prices are high, but everybody's traveling. We didn't see Matt Morgison down at uh, at Springfield, but he's here at Newcastle. Right there alongside Rodney. So, we'll uh, kind of walk around and take a look around and see what all is here and who's here. We've already checked in with uh, Jeff Brown. Um, any of you promoters that are out there, I'm not a promoter, but I will lend a hand to you guys. Uh, Jeff has asked us to help him in the past, help him uh, promote this thing with videos and uh, spamming le links and stuff, and we'll do that. Um, we do it for for Broadhead because we're friends with Marshall and the Morales. I want to see them uh, have a successful event. We're friends with the Nielsen family at Del Mar. We'll help them. We love the Rock Island people, so we try to help the Rock Island Grand Prix as much as we can. And then uh, Jeff Brown here at New uh, for Newcastle. We do not have any video for Camden, but he also had think is promoting Camden so so the big cat is gonna be fun to run dad's gonna run it with the bender on it this time instead of a instead of a Mac so so we'll see what happens Uh, they run this Newcastle with, uh, with the biggest outlier. Hey, there's a guy over there He's filming me. But they run it with a pretty, pretty good size uh, track setup. It's a little hard on the American fan cooled stuff. I've been after Jeff to put chicanes in. He hasn't done that yet, but one of these days I'll work on him and maybe I'll volunteer to put the chicanes in for him. We got the infamous Donnie Kane, Raising Kane right here. Gary in that bright yellow shirt. This is Cal right here with his bender, he was out. Looks like he might have a 
a little bit of a throttle issue or something he's working through. We got the wild man, Donnie Kane, right next to me. Yeah. Say hi, Donnie. Hi. Oh, one of the Nagels just come in. That band. Yeah. See Mark's chewing him out already? Probably. <laughs> I think it's why Drew quit. Drew Mac got to Ben's grown since I've seen him last. Nah, there's a lot of people here. There's that Romero guy. He's a, he's like a male model, you know. Look at that guy. Uh, there's all kinds of people here. People I don't normally see too. So. Kind of scary sometimes people come up and uh, introduce themselves to me and I have no idea who they are. Who's that guy right there? Yeah, I don't know that guy. I have no idea who that, is, that guy is. Come to Indiana, you only come for one reason to raise the Yeah, there's a lot of carts here, a lot of people here. Good variety. This was shooting, shooting the crap with the Kane brothers. They're raising Kane already. Robert's going to actually run here today. Got the Steve Mox pit right here. A lot of people here that I don't normally run into because they're don't quite come out to the west where we're at. So. I'd walk down through here a little bit. People that have stuff for sale. Some beautiful carts out here. Great looking stuff. There's some A. A lot of sea open stuff here today too, so be able to see some of that on the track. This is a good track for sea open. Good track for anything that wants to turn more than uh, 12,000 RPM, I will say that. Some really, really cool stuff. So you need to come to this event. Gene Lang and his 632s. We know that guy there in the 24 hat, that's John Conkle. Uh, He's sir. a West Bend guy. Working on his done. stuff, getting ready to go. Yep. We'll have some fun. Absolutely. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. We're working our way towards that. You and me both. I'm waiting until it gets like 94, and then I'll go out and run. Oh, at least. At least. In about 95 humidity. Yep. And I'll run snot out the out the back end. I'm gonna put a hose on my helmet, juice the track behind me, so nobody can pass me. Nothing like a little burnt alky to make your day. That's right. Thanks, John. See you, John. Yeah, the brain surgery thing does funny things to you. Me, when it gets over 80, 85 degrees outside, my nose just runs. The left side of my nose is paralyzed, and it just drains snot all over the place. Oh, we know this guy. Look at that guy. And we know that guy, too. So, it's good to see Troy out here. Bill McCornack. Here goes Troy Kozad on his outlap. Here comes Romero on a hot lap. Dutch Sharp's crew over there. I don't know if you can hear me or not. It's getting pretty loud out here. Look Sharp and uh, Rick.
Rick Parsons, Sonny's crew, Marty Weston's pit. There's that Marty guy. He's always got a big smile on his face. He's getting ready to go have fun. Oh, okay, that's why he's got the smile. Hadn't been out yet. And when he comes to these events, Dave is always here. Run some really cool stuff. Jesse James over there going in that trailer. Got this young guy. Looks like he's been on a track. He's sweating already. Yep. Sweating. I hear you. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, running, I'm running pretty good out good, there. Good, good. Good. Well, this is a place that I've never been very good at. So, but I've only been here a couple times. So, Nagels are here. And then we got Gruber right here. Yes, yep. Yep. He's, um, I think it's your dad that is friends with James Simonelli, right? I am not sure. I believe so. Your dad's in the motorcycle, right? Yeah. Yep. So, a little bit of an S and S connection and motorcycles. My dad's big into motorcycles. Simonelli is one of those guys that's a good dude. I'm also enjoying Brian Madden. Marty just came off the track. Well, it's the end of day one, and uh, practice day's over. We had everything but the orange crush out on the track. Gear changes on everything, and we're still gonna be making gear changes tonight. So. This set up here on the, on the historic alley cat. The shadow out of there. Cool carburetor, pretty fast. Vintage speeds don't like this track real well, but pretty fast. A lot of fun. Picture of our shirt. So, uh, about 90, 90, 94 degrees out today, somewhere in there. So it's been hot, very, very hot. Drink a lot of fluid. And we'll end up doing more gear changing here tonight. Hopefully it gets a little cooler. And so far the forecast looks like it's going to. So. I was way off on gearing uh, on the first run. So, big changes. Took a big, huge swing at it and changed a lot of things. Still off a little bit, but we'll get that corrected here tonight. We'll go at it again tomorrow. First round of heats will be tomorrow. I can't remember the exact schedule, but we'll see you in the morning.
start Mark Nagel and his uh, SAE with dual one on ones is running way down there. You got Federico all in down here there at Dual Yama. Federico, with a 22. 